Hi, my name is Tim from iServe, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to add an XML sitemap in Magento 2. What is an XML sitemap? Uh, well, it's a list of all the most important pages on your website uh, that you will submit to search engines like Google or Bing via their webmaster tools uh, so that they can have a full list of the pages that you want them to add to search engines and also gives them a better understanding of the structure of, uh, of your website. Uh, it's really important, to, especially for new websites, to help them get found in search results and um, for when, a, uh, when you've had a redo of a website where the pages may have changed for, uh, as I said, search engines like Google and Bing to get a better understanding of what the, uh, what the new pages are and the new structure. Uh, so creating one super straightforward. First thing you'll need to do is obviously log into your Magento admin area. Uh, on the left menu, go to marketing and then sitemaps. Uh, there'll be add sitemap. And you want to call it something like sitemap.xml. In terms of the path, this will be where it appears uh, in terms of the file structure of the, of the website. So I normally just put as a dash so it's domain name.com forward slash sitemap.xml and once you've done it, save and generate and uh, that's it. Uh, so a couple of additional settings that you do have are under stores configuration. Uh, if you go to catalog and XML sitemap. Uh, so in here you can adjust the frequency that um, you want the search engine to check uh, from always to never. Uh, daily is normally fine. Uh, it just depends on how often you're updating the, uh, the pages and things on your website and the priority in terms of which pages, uh, how, how important these pages are to check. Um, so you can do this for categories, products, CMS pages. Um, the settings here are normally fine, but if you felt that they needed adjusting, uh, that's where, this is where you do it. Uh, one thing that I would say that's worth doing is setting it to appear in your robots.txt file just so it's another place that Google can see that you've um, got, you know, listed where the sitemap is just in case it has, it can, it has trouble finding it. Um, so once you've done that, that's your sitemap created, you've done all you needed to do. The only other thing is uh, just adding it to uh, Google Search Console. We're going to just quickly show you how to do that. So. If you've never created a Google Search Console account before, uh, what you'll need to do first off is have a Google email address and then go to, uh, if you were to just search Google Search Console, uh, just go here, Google Search Console and sign in with that Google email address. It's then likely to ask you to verify your website. Uh, that's that's, uh, that could be fairly simple to do uh, with, from the admin area here. Um, if you from that list of settings, uh, go to the one that says add a, a tag to the header of the homepage of your website. Uh, if you copy that tag, go to content configuration and then edit the theme of your website. Expand the HTML head section, and then you'd add it into the scripts and style sheets. Save configuration, and then you just need to go back to Google Search Console and validate that uh, that it's configured, and that'd be all set up for you. Uh, from there, we'll use uh, the iServe Search Console account here. You then go to Sitemaps on the left here, and simply just type in sitemap.xml and submit and that would be everything you need to do to get your sitemaps submitted to uh, Google Search Console. Uh, as I said there's also Bing Webmaster tools that you can do it to as well. Uh, those are probably the two main ones that you want to add your XML sitemap to. And that's it. Uh, if you, you need any other advice or help with your Magento 2 site, uh, check the description below. We'll have a link to the article that this is this video is based on and uh, another link to uh, a, la uh, a larger set of uh, things that um, you might want to do, like adding a product or category to your Magento 2 site. All right, that's it. Take care.